Question number four is our graphing question and then a rule about its inverse function. Okay, so it's a graphing question and what they've given us is a hyperbola. I can see from the hyperbola that at x equals minus two there is an asymptote and y equals minus one there is an asymptote. Picked up by the denominator equaling zero when x is equal to negative two and this minus one will tell me it's all been moved down. So clearly in one color, I'm going to show my asymptotes. I'm going to label that with y equals negative one and x equals negative two. They told me to label the asymptotes with their equation, so I've done that. To find the x-intercept and y-intercept, so the y-intercept is when x equals zero, so the y-intercept we f of zero should equal one over two minus one, which is negative a half. So that's going to be there at negative a half. And they've said axial intercepts with their coordinates, plural. So I'm going to do um, that as being zero and negative a half. And to find the x-intercept, set y equal to zero. Zero equals one on x plus two minus one. Move the one, one equals one on x plus two. Move the x plus two up and multiply one times the x plus two equals one. x equals negative one. So there we have the second point, which is going to be negative one, zero. And I then need to draw the curve, make sure it is asymptotic. That is that it's approaching the asymptote. The trick there is stop about here, don't go all the way and have it come up like that. Now, this point here, is one unit over and one unit down from the center therefore one unit over that's the point where the curve will also go through on the other side because my domain is all real numbers except for negative two therefore i've got to draw it over here and i'm going to call that f of x use of color helps the examiner see things double check i've labeled the asymptotes i've labeled the axial intercepts Hopefully that's going to give me three marks. Okay, the rule and the domain of the inverse. The domain of the inverse will equal the range of f, which I can tell by looking at this will be all real numbers except for negative one, because there is a horizontal asymptote at negative one. So all the y values are everything except negative one. So there is my domain. And if I do y equals 1 on x plus 2 minus 1, swap. Therefore, x equals 1 on y plus 2 minus 1. Bring the negative x plus 1 equals 1 on y plus 2. I'm going to move this up here and that down there in two moves. So y plus 2 equals 1 on x plus 1. So the inverse of x equals 1 on x plus 1 minus 2. And that's question number 4.